Greetings Mafia. First and foremost, you need to download this video due to YouTube policy of deleting or banning COVID related videos. One of my vids is already being deleted, so make sure you download this one. With that out of the way, let's talk Turkey. What you're seeing now is a trade balance of World Integrated Trade Solution, a company that belongs to World Central Bank. You'll find the link in the description box. This company provides medical equipment for governments worldwide. Every product has a code number. The page I'm showing you is related to COVID-19 equipment. Masks, test kits, gloves, hand sanitizers, etc. You will find that practically every country in the world made its purchase all the way back in 2019, in some cases even 2018. Now ask yourself, why would the governments of the entire world make those purchases for a disease that no one even knew at the time? Mind you, the existence of COVID-19 wasn't announced until February of this year, supposedly originating from wet market in Wuhan. This document proves that the governments of the entire world are in on this scam and the company owned by the World Bank was a supplier of medical equipment. Remember when in March, Mark Zuckerberg donated 720,000 masks that Facebook had in its storage facilities? Why would an IT company like Facebook had so many masks in the first place? Could it be that Facebook and other powerful companies knew about these government purchases? The same matter of opinion. I'm showing you evidence from official World Bank website. I've been on this scandemic since day one, telling you it's been designed for a purpose, and I even covered the stories about doctors being killed after they discovered the true nature of this virus. The question remains, however, what is the purpose? As I stated in my previous videos, every time there's a need for an economic reset, a world war is staged. Both world wars were a result of economic recessions and need for reduction of world population. However, sparking another world war is too risky due to the fact that every superpower has nukes. Even those who are able to spend two generations in bunkers aren't sure if they'll be able to even breathe after resurfacing. Remember, wars need to be controlled and even World War II had its negative side effects, most notably the rise of communist bloc. I've been warning you for years that the system is in trouble and the best alternative for avoiding world war is a staged pandemic. This latest evidence I'm showing you proves everything I've been saying for the last five years is spot on. All praise is due to Black Pill. Historically, world wars last no longer than four to six years, meaning we're just entering the cycle. This will not be over until 2025. We now see that the world governments are in fact waging a biological war against its citizens. As I pointed out before, if the coronavirus was created by nature, none of us would be around now. This pandemic is lab-made for purpose of government gaining tighter grip on its population and reducing it. This war has two stages. One is pandemic, the other one is vaccine. Vaccines will sterilize us and further reduce the population. Other cultural methods, such as boosting of feminist movements and now LGBT, also play a significant role. The effects of these measures will result in shortage of masculine workforce, especially in the West, where this type of manual labors will be imported from war and poverty infected parts of the world. They'll provide a cheap labor for big corporations who are, in fact, the biggest beneficiaries of this stage pandemic. Furthermore, it will open the doors to natural resources of their native countries. The stage will be set in the next five years. What we also need to include is the rising suicide rate caused by economic volatility. In the United States, for example, 19 million people will become homeless with December 31st 
we can expect to see a spike in suicide and crime rates. Europe is no different. There is almost 1 million homeless people in Germany. About a quarter of them are asylum seekers, but the rest are in fact German citizens. And let's not forget ever-growing abortion rates. Another effective way of population reduction. The average abortion rate in European Union is 250 abortions per 1,000 births. That is a quarter of a population. Thank you, feminism. At this late hour, being ignorant or a blue pill isn't a victimless crime. As a devoted black pill, I couldn't care less about blue pills and their awaiting faith. The less of them, the better. I've been tirelessly digging for the kind of information you won't hear on the mainstream media, not even on the internet. Truth be told, I got a lot of help from fellow black pills in gathering information, but nonetheless, I took it upon myself to provide you with as many important information as I could regarding this scandemic and what goes on behind the scenes. And I'll continue to do so. Because it matters. It matters we all know what's really going on so we don't end up like blue pills. They thought they'll go along to get along, actively foot soldiering for the system, hoping for a few crumbs, not realizing they are the main course. If you like this video, download it, re-upload it, take all the credit for it. And if you want to support this channel, there's a link to my PayPal tip jar in the description box. This is Top Dollar signing off.